cutters, vinyl cutters, 3D printers, and so on. And uh, we gather a lot of people who know nothing. Uh, we give them a simple task in five days. In that five days, they learn to use uh, engineering software, uh, learn to use uh, electronics. Uh, they, they, <laughs> they produce all the parts for the robot. Like They print uh, the housing, they print the handle of the robot. They use laser cutting machine to produce these parts. They do the silicone rubber casting uh, to make wheels for the robot. Then they go to making electronics like you use microcontroller, use uh, motor driver, and uh, of course uh, Bluetooth model. Is it yes, it is Arduino. Uh, they use Bluetooth models so they can control the robot from the smartphone and then on the sixth day when there is a presentation day the team of people who on the day one knew nothing at all they present a ready operational functional problem and this is a very important thing that uh, makes people want to learn more to improve their skills and to make more uh, complicated projects and uh, step by step they uh, learn more stuff they learn more machinery and uh, that's how we prepare the people who can actually do great things. First of all, they make simple projects and now more and more complicated. Is it in part of this? Yeah, yeah, it goes, it goes inside, so right now it's an empty shell and uh, this platform goes inside and the wheels actually uh, make the robot move. 
to power what kind of you use battery or solar power uh, we use uh, lithium uh, rechargeable batteries uh, lithium ion and what about this this is mind control uh, no, it is mind control is uh, it's a very old prototype okay uh, uh, it has a three dimensional accelerometer so the controller knows the position of the arm okay and uh, there are about 10 gestures which, which are pre-recorded into a microcontroller so uh, different position triggers different gesture like this position triggers rapid gesture when you turn the hand upside down it triggers the release gesture and so on and it's like a limitation okay the, Using of this hand doesn't feel natural, so we had to improve both mechanics. As you can see, there is string. string. Uh, this is developed by a student. What? You, this is developed by a student or? Uh, uh, here are the servo motors. No, no, no. Are connected to Who the is de developed this by student? By yes. university? Uh, students uh, who learn a lot of facility, did they make this or did you make uh, uh, Students made this and uh, they made it for an actual MPC girl who lost her arm below the elbow like she had a very short arm okay. left below the elbow and we made it for her and um, uh, so okay. I, say, ah, I, will, I was that uh, we have to improve both mechanics we used uh, a different type of mechanic we placed motors here below the fingers and uh, used a uh, firm mechanical uh, here. You can use hydraulics, hydraulics, various kinds of hydraulics. Or yeah, uh, hydraulics is uh, good, but you have to uh, make pressure, pressure. To, to make it work. So we decided to use DC motors DC and motor. uh, uh, gear made mechanical of, gears. And yes, all. yes, mechanical okay. gears uh, made of rust. What is it? Uh, third and last one? Ah, wait for it. I have to tell you about the ah. controls, like the mind control. You asked me, so I could answer you. One and question. Wait for it, I have to tell about my control thing. Uh, so, uh, we have to improve the controls and uh, as I said, she had a little uh, bit of arm left, but there are muscles in it. And we have a neocratic sensor engineering challenge for a uh, four-day competition, world skills. And um, the thing is that we produced every single part uh, except for Arduino. What is the purpose for making this? It's very to help uh, pedestrians in the towns. When you when you want to move inside the town, you have to walk to reach a station. You take a bus, a tram, and, so, and after to walk again to to get your destination. So, so with that, each time you walk, you get assistance and you get speed. So you save time, you save effort. So you can have a long distance between you and your station. It's possible with workers now. So when you have workers, you can get assistance, get time, uh, save time, and then you can enter in a bus, enter in a public transport station, and after continue the way with workers, same workers, and you arrive indoor uh, to your destination indoor, and to have your worker just beside you when working or something. Is it? Uh... Uh, it operates on what? How does it operate? Does it have battery? Does it? it? What is the, how, how does it power? Ah, yeah, 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 excuse me. It's a battery. Battery, yeah, okay. A rechargeable battery gives you assistance and gives you the stabilization. All thing is that electronically you, you get a, a self-in balanced with that. And you can drive with your feet with that. Yeah. What is the range of this battery? One after one charge, how yes, much we yes. can travel? A single charge about uh, one hour. Okay. And, and uh, how much uh, is the distance? Corresponding and distance of about six seven kilometers. Six seven kilometers yeah. after one For charge. For usual trip, daily trip, it's about one two kilometer of walking. I, I do not include uh, transportation, public transportation. But the walking duration is about time distance is about two kilometers, so uh, ten kilometers is nice to have two or three days. And uh, what what could be the battery life of battery life total product life? What is life the life of, of the battery? battery? I say it's a life of battery, but it's a choice today. 
I'm not, I am not sure it will be the last uh, choice for uh, our product. When your product is going to come in market? Market, I hope uh, next year, one next year. year. But um, I must be honest with you, uh, we are working in France and in Europe, and it's very long, long, long. Uh, so last week I was in China, Okay. and uh, could be very quick in China, but we have other problems with China. Could be uh, more efficient in India also, but uh, we try to, to have solutions to this problem. How uh, many years have you been working on it? Oh, a lot of time. The invention, I invented yes. that it, uh, eight years ago. Eight years ago. The patent is six years ago. The company was created four years ago. Mm. And uh, this prototype was made two years ago. So now it was <laughs> two, two, two. <laughs> and, uh, so when now we are working on the final product. Okay. But it's very difficult because we have a lot of money to find because it's an industrial project and it's very, uh, but, very uh, expensive and France is out, Europe is out. Uh, but you can uh, this go for the crowdfunding like Kickstarter and yes, Indigo. Yes, crowdfunding is a good solution. But, because the most but, of the tech companies. Yes, yes. We, we try to do that but we did not do because uh, when you young people back backward uh, are uh, putting money they hope to have a, a reward can. six months after and it's not possible but you can try, try it out because that is the most successful kickstarter yes i have a lot of fans that will be sure, and, sure. And a lot of people like that but and you will, if, if, you will they have money, also, if they put yeah. money they have no very be rewarded and uh, what about the final cost uh, in yes, india today we are looking for three million dollars three million dollars yes, really. it's not so heavy for an investor but three million dollar is an investment for three million dollar is not no. no most, what is the cost of this? Uh, most investor uh, we we saw investor in China, large investor, told us three, ये प्लास्टिक वायर लेता है और ये प्लास्टिक वायर लेके मेल्ट करता है और लेयर बाय लेयर डिपॉजिट करता है आपको इनपुट में 3D मॉडल फाइल देना होता है बना के बता दूँ क्या बना के बता दूँ क्या बन गया है सर या या ऑल मॉडल्स ऑन द टेबल आर मेड ऑन दिस मशीन